This vlog today is about Las Vegas. My first time in Las Vegas. It was quite the trip. <laughs> Before we get into the story of Vegas, make sure that you're subscribed. We post videos every single Friday. If you like this video, make sure that you like it and you leave a comment and you share it with your friend. The airport was very Vegas. <laughs> there were slot machines. There was posters everywhere and billboards were playing videos that were advertising different shows in Vegas. It was ridiculous. There was a giant iguana statue. That was pretty cool. We met up with our friend. He had organized accommodation and he had organized the transport and everything like that. So we got to the airport and there's a limo. <laughs> I've never driven a limo before. That was my first time riding a limo. It was pretty cool. We were able to connect my phone to the aux cord, you know, play some tunes, you know how it is. The limo driver, he took basically a long route so that we could see some of the strip. But everything was lit up and it was super colorful, it was sick. We drove past, you know, like all the different hotels. You've got like the Luxor, Excalibur, all of them. So we're due to stay in two different hotels. That's all we knew. We're staying in one hotel for one night and then another hotel for the following two nights. So the first hotel we stayed at was MGM Grand. That's nice. Oh, it's cool. It's like a little apartment. We got a room pretty high up. Oh, damn. God. Jesus. Ooh. We got pretty sick views of like all the lights. could fit a whole party in the bathtub. The hotel was actually crazy big, but like it was literally like a five, 10 minute walk at least, just to get from like where we were staying to out onto the strip. There was literally so many food places. There was apparently a nightclub that we passed. There was slot machines everywhere. So most of the hotels in Vegas have like a show that plays in them. And this particular one had like a pretty sick design, I guess, with like the dragon and stuff. So it's pretty late by the time we decided to go out, but we're pretty hungry. So we were just want to find somewhere where you can have some food. And also I guess see a bit of the strip in the meantime, a lot of places ended up actually being closed. We wanted to go into Taco Bell, but then there was a massive line. So it just didn't seem worth it to kind of like wait like 40 minutes for some Taco Bell. So we just kept walking until we found a food court. We found something of like a little, food court thing where well, there was a few places there was like an Asian and Mexican and pizza places Hannah ended up getting wings chicken wings aka the worst finger food on the planet what did you get quesadillas so after that we went to sleep actually no we didn't there was a bath in the uh, room and it was really sick and I had jets so I decided to take a bath the next day I got up and with great intentions filmed a clip on the camera so it was good quality, you know, we had that daylight and the better camera rather than my iPhone. So yeah, I filmed the clip, turns out I didn't turn on the microphone, so it's just a silent clip. We had to leave and then drop our bags off at the next hotel, which happened to be the Cosmopolitan, which is pretty sick. It's like... Apparently, it's like designed with millennials in mind, with younger people, you know, and it's cool. So there was a lot of art in the hotel and it was all really interesting. Alice in Wonderland themed stuff. Then we knew we were going to be hungry, so we grabbed the smoothie. Then we just walked around some hotels to kill some time so we could look at them because, you know, they all got different designs. They all got different themes and different vibes. So first we went to the Venetian, which is one of the hotels that has like their own specific little themes. And that one had pretty cool decor. I mean, I could see like a lot of couples probably want to go to that one. They had like gondolas. They had this really cool room. The ceiling, the entire ceiling, it's this massive room. And the entire ceiling is painted to look like the sky. It changes colors. And also towards the end of that room, there's like, like a canal where people can float by on their little gondolas. It's really cute. Then after that, we went to the wind, which looked super fancy. There was like a bunch of designer shops in there. Like they had this atrium or whatever, this big central place, but they had like this path that led into it with like trees and like a lot of green around it. They had like a carousel that where the horses were like made out of flowers. It looked pretty neat. And then after that, our friend took us to this place called Area 15, which I guess is like this experience place. Um, basically outside, before you even enter, they have like a bunch of different sculptures, a bunch of different art pieces, which are all pretty cool and really remind me of like Coachella. And then as you come in, you get to see 
like a bunch of, well, first of all, the first thing that you see as you come in is like this massive skull that has like lights projected onto it. So it keeps changing. I don't, I don't remember if it went with the music, but it just looked really safe. And it's basically like everything kind of looks quirky in there. You go in and I think there's like an axe thrown experience. There's a, a bit where you can sit in this seat harness thing and like fly around the place basically. There's a few restaurants and places to eat, but one of the shops we went into had like really sick clothes that kind of were like, what's that called? Like steampunk kind of style. We had uh, tickets to go to one of the events, this exhibition, I guess, Omega Mart. So the place, it's hard to explain what it is. Basically, as you come in, it's actually just this looks like a grocery store with a bunch of different aisles, a bunch of different products, but all of the products are quirky. As you'll see on all the videos, they're all kind of weird. It literally kind of is like art. Like you can buy a bunch of the stuff in there, which is sick also. And you just walk around, you exp explore the place. And also as you come in, you get this card, like an employee ID kind of card. And there's a bunch of places around the Omega Mart where you can boop the card onto like the different things to display a computer with like some information and stuff. But basically if you do it at the beginning, you find out that you're, the way you can also experience this place is while engaging in this interactive game story thing. So you get shown that you have a bunch of different trainings that you have to do and complete in three different sections of the place. You basically have to find them, then figure out the riddles on the things. There's so many things in there that you can interact with. In a normal shop, for example, you wouldn't like go up to the phone or do anything with it. But here, if you go up, there's a bunch of numbers listed. And if you call the different numbers and listen to different messages, you can uncover bits of the story. I don't want to give too many spoilers if people want to go, but basically there's, there's, there is like a whole story that's kind of woven into that. And as far as I'm aware, you can have two different endings with the, the way you do the story. It's super interesting because it's like, they don't give you any instructions when you come and nobody tells you what to do. So you have to figure it out by yourself. And you could like probably do the whole thing and not even realize there's a storyline to it. If you're someone like me and you, you don't pay attention or you don't have a long attention span, everything is just really cool to look at and experience. But if you're like, figure it out and go deeper it as like a video game. You'll see there's many quirky little places where like you went into the freezers, a room with mirrors everywhere, so it just looked like you were infinite. We also met a few of our friends' friends while we were in Area 15. Me and one of them did some handstands under the sculptures. After that, we went back to the hotel because it was time for us to check in. And we walked in and, oh my God, the room was insane. Wow, it's huge. Oh my God, it's beautiful. You see the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> oh, and the fountain, look at that. Oh, wow. That's a massive balcony. Those views are crazy. It had like a wraparound balcony with like the best views. You can literally see the Bellagio fountains. You can see Caesar's Palace. You can see the uh, French hotel. This place is so big. It's like a whole house. Wow. <laughs> what the heck? That's crazy news. Smart. Once we had a little bit of time at the hotel, we got changed and it was time to go to a show. We ended up going to Tournament of Kings, which is in the Excalibur. It's like a medieval themed hotel. It's it's pretty cool. Oh come now, my friends! This is an occasion for rowdiness! So the show was really fun. Basically, it's like the show about these battles between different knights. It's like around an arena and everyone's in different sections for different countries. There's France, there's Russia, Ireland, Austria, Norway, Hungary. And there's also the dragon section, which is like the villain of the, of the show. But basically you get seated in different sections and then that determines who you kind of cheer for during the show. And then as you sit around the arena, you also get served food, you get served a quail, roasted potatoes, corn and a biscuit. And then for dessert, you also get served like an apple tart. And you can also order alcohol and you can order more drinks and stuff like that. I tried jello shots for the first time ever, which I'm sure the footage of it looks disgusting, but I did it and that was fun. During the show, they have like horses, jousting, like different kinds of fighting with the sword. The choreography is really sick.
they have like pyrotechnics, like some fire stones as well. The show was very fun. Um, we got to meet some of the cast members afterwards because our friend knows them and their friends. So we got to get a picture with them, got to just hang out and chat for a second. Then we walked back and we checked out the Luxor, which is the Egyptian themed hotel, which is really sick. And the rooms are literally like, you know, on that slant as the pyramid is going up. The decor is awesome. You know, it's like typical Egyptian hieroglyphics and like the statues. Then we went back to our hotel and we went to the chandelier bar, which is within our hotel, because they serve this interesting drink that our friend had us try. It's called a verbona, I believe. And basically, when you get it, it looks just like a normal drink. And there's like just this little flower floating in it. So if you didn't know about it, you might just drink it normally and have no idea. But what you're supposed to do is have a little bit of the drink, you know, just to taste what it tastes like normally. And then you take the flower, you're supposed to grind it up, eat it, kind of spread it all over your tongue, and then drink your drink after that. And it kind of changes how the drink tastes. It's a weird, very weird sensation. It makes your tongue tingly. It makes your tongue very tingly. But it's cool, it's so strange, it's very weird. And then, because we're hungry, we popped into Secret Pizza, which is like this little nook in the hotel where you can grab pizza, which is, it's not labored or anything, you just walk into a corridor and there's like a pizza place. It was pretty good. And then we went back up to bed because we had some cool things to do the next day that we had to be pretty alert for. So then the next day we got to enjoy the view a little bit from the room. Uh, again, I had to do some handstands, you know, I have to handstand basically everywhere I go um, or else I will stop breathing. We met up with two of the guys from the show that we saw the other night because they were going to be joining us to do the activity. But basically our friend also booked another limo for us to travel from their hotel to where we're going. It was a fun ride for sure. Then we ended up at this place called Dream Racing, which had a lot of supercars and sports cars and basically it's this track where you get to either drive them or as in Hella's case sit in the passenger seat of one <laughs> which is still very brave we are very proud of Han. I got to drive a Porsche Cayman GT, which is pretty sick. It was so weird, it was so low to the ground, and it goes so fast, accelerates so much faster than a normal car. The gears are like on either side of your steering wheel, so you're supposed to keep both hands on the steering at all times, and then you just like shift up and you shift down as you're driving. You get to drive with the instructor in the seat, and he's just like, you know, over the radio telling you what to do. He'd be like, in my he'd be like, okay, accelerate, go like full speed, and I just do that, and then be like, okay, brake now, brake, 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 and it's like, okay, release, turn, and I just, I was just, doing it. I was just like, fuck it, I just want to go as fast as I can. So let's just like react to his instructions as, as fast as possible. Hannah didn't want to drive, so she got to go on a drift with a like, professional driver. So we actually have footage of that. You ever been drifting before? No. Me neither. Okay, that's We're cool. We're together. <laughs> no, I've been doing it for a while. We're staying in LA. <laughs> We purchased videos of our rides. My video corrupted because technology hates me. That always happens. So we have no video of me driving. One, two, three. Then after that, we went back to the hotel. We had a light snack. We had some sushi. So after that, we went to the pool. It was really hot, so 
I don't know if we got a bit of a tan. I mean, maybe. I mean, I'm already pretty tan. And also, we could have margaritas in the pool. Then we're back up to the room because we have to get ready because we're going to out to dinner and then we're going to have a nightclub after that. Then we got to watch the Bellagio fountain go off, which is pretty sick. I think that was the first time we properly got to watch it from start to finish. Our friends' friends came over again because they were joining us for dinner and one of them was joining us for the nightclub later. The restaurant, I don't remember the name of it, but it had like Mediterranean food, kind of like Spanish, but it was like unique and different. You'll see on some of the clips. The food was great, it was tasty. I don't think there was a single thing that I ate and I didn't like, I think everything was pretty delicious. We also had cava, which is a type of wine, uh, but there was like a weird way of drinking it. And it's like a competition, I guess, to see who can move the thing away the farthest as you're drinking. So that was pretty cool. Hannah only did it once, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then didn't try again. And me and the other guys did it a few times. It was pretty fun. So then after that, we went to the nightclub. The nightclub was in Caesars. Uh, so we got to walk through that hotel, which was, again, pretty cool to see. That was like kind of Roman, right? Yeah. The nightclub that we went to was called Omnia. Everyone was on the dance floor, which is pretty cool. But they had this cool fixture up on the ceiling, which was like the circle. It was in fragments, so the things could move, you know, like it could come down, come back up. There was like a chandelier in the middle. So we did a bit of dancing that night. You had some drinks. My friend had a flight really early the next morning. He, like he had to be up for like 4 a.m. So we decided to head back to the hotel and get some sleep. And then the next day, basically, we had like an early afternoon flight. We didn't do too much. We just kind of wandered around, just did a bit of sightseeing. Yeah, we went into the Paris hotel as well because we didn't get a chance to see it earlier. We tried some slot machines and the so French... The only gambling we did in Vegas, we gambled $2 and we lost $2. <laughs> so we decided to just spend $2, just so we can say we did some gambling in Vegas. Then grabbed an Uber to the airport and we are back on the plane, back to LA. So that was our wild Vegas trip, but it was a really cool experience. It was very fun. I would go back for sure. There's so many cool shows there that I would check out. Like even if you don't want to gamble, there's like loads of stuff to do and see. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we shall try to bring you along on as many of our adventures as possible. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for checking us out. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Have a good life. Goodbye.